Shalom to the elect of Israel, you Hebrew Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, West Indian Haitians, and the foreign Israelites that are scattered across the four corners of the earth that look like the other nations. Gotta give all praises to Barakah Thaw Yahweh. Barakah Thaw Yahweh Shai. Barakah Thaw Yahweh. Barakah Thaw Yahweh Shai. Gotta give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bashim Yahweh Kakodash. Wanna give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who led me to this truth. They were ordained by the Lord to teach the flock how to live, repent, pray, fast, and show forth the Lord's righteousness and mercy, judgment, forgiveness, and wrath to all who dwell upon the hope elect and to the elect that are scattered across the four corners of the earth, whoever they may be. Lord willing, we be part of that number. Lord willing, this be edifying to those who fear in the name of the Lord and are striving to show forth the Lord's righteousness every day to the best of their abilities. His judgment always comes to light every day. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 5. And it's not slack. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 9. So, we're going to get into some topics. I'm going to roll with the spirit. And uh, that Harakakodash, which is the Holy Spirit, the mind of Yahweh. I'm going to roll with some of that. Uh, today, before I go to the plantation, I've been going, the, the plantation's been calling me out there because, you know, I work hard. And everything I do, I work, get off, go work for the Lord, get back, go work for the plantation to be able to keep myself out here to work for the Lord. So, you know, because the stuff costs, it costs money, man, to keep this stuff running. So that's the only reason why we just want our daily bread, just enough to, you know, keep this ministry going, you know, and, uh, you know, be able to tie up to the brotherhood and help them as as times get harder in these in these in these times. Because the brotherhood is, is some brothers is going to be facing stuff like the ones over there in California right there right now. You know, I want to I want to try to see if I can contact the head camp over there and sometime soon and try to see about uh, helping give some give some uh, arms to the brotherhood over there. You know, and uh, you know I don't want to try to give. You know, it says don't give if you ain't got it, but, you know, you want to at least do 10%, man. It says you put 10% to his storehouse, man. At least 10%, man. Help the brotherhood out. Okay? So, uh, you know, you never know what a brother could be going through. We all going through the same uh, kind of stuff. Our brethren, we're, we're facing the same adversity across the, across the globe. So let's help the brotherhood out to the best of our abilities. And, uh... You know, be a giver, man, more than a receiver. You know, you can't go wrong You're laying down your life for your brothers, man. So let's get this started up. And, uh, you know, we're going to go into some topics. So, why regulators seized Signature Bank in third biggest bank failure in U.S. history? On Friday, Signature Bank customers move it up a little bit for you so you can see on Friday signature bank customers spooked by a sudden collapse of Silicon Valley Bank withdrew more than 10 billion deposits of deposits a board member told CB CNBC and I was listening to uh, it was uh, it was one of the Akim he's actually one of the elders I believe uh, and uh, he uh was to also talking about, uh, you know, how people were going to panic and start pulling their money out. Man, who was it? Let me bring him up, cause, cause you're gonna wanna, uh, you wanna go, wanna go subscribe to him. So we got this right here coming up next, but let me do this first. Israel is in the shores of possibly what? its biggest what? public what? uprising. Hold on, Shawty. All right. I think it's GMS upon precepts. Yep. GMS upon precepts, seps three. Right down there. Uh, it's GMS slash upon precepts three. You need to go uh, subscribe to him and uh, go get edified. He's got, got a lot of, uh, got a lot of uh, edifying videos as all, all the, uh, the great millstone members do. Um, 
So let's go look at it real fast and we'll go back. See, there it is right there. That's, 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 that's one of the brothers of GMS. Go subscribe to his channel. He just did a video about it. Bank fallouts cause fear and panic to spread across the world. See, that's what's going on. He got a whole bunch of other topics. You know, they do his camp and they do camp just like everybody else does. Everybody in believing in the Lord. So let me uh, scroll this back out. We're going to try to make this quick because I don't have a whole lot of time. Uh, I gotta go to the plantation at five. So, ten billion on deposits. A board member told C CNBC that run on deposits quickly led to the third largest bank failure in U.S. history. Regulators announced late Sunday that the signature was being taken over to protect the depositors and stability of the U.S. financial system. And uh, they say, I think what part of happened was that regulators wanted to send a very strong anti-crypto message, said board member of former Congressman Barney Frank. And that's, uh, I was seeing another video that GMS and Lando did talk about how Esau Edom gonna try to stiff, he gonna try to stiff, uh, yep, on Sunday the 12th, he, he gonna try to stiff, uh, you know, the people, like, you know, kind of, kind of, kind of buck up at them to make them take that 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 digital currency system they're gonna make all these banks slow shut down they're gonna say guess what guess who coming to save the day he saw Edom with his doggone cbd cbdc system I'm talking about you gotta take the karagma and uh that's what we're gonna tie into this in just a second so the sudden move shock executives of signature bank a new york based institution with deep ties to the real estate and legal industries said board member and former u.s representative barney frank signature had 40 branches assets of 110.36 billion of deposits 88.59 billion at the end of 2022 occurring to the regulatory filling we had no indication of problems until we got a deposit run late friday which was primarily cogn uh cognition from from SF, uh, SVB, which is Silicon Valley Bank, Frank told CNBC on the interview. So that's just kind of talking a little bit about Lou. Well, look at that! Boom! That's what America Babylon the Great look like right now, falling in the mist. So now, and this is all going to lead up. You guessed it. Revelations. Chapter 13, verse 16. What the, what, what? Uh-huh. They like, what the, what, what? Yeah, you know what we talking about. And he calls them all. Who's called, who calls it? He saw even so-called white man. Spiritual demon Satan. What the, what? Yep. Both small and great. Rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. What? 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 And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast. Oh, and, 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 and hold on. You look up that word, that M A R K. What it say? See? Strong's G fifty four eighty. Karagma. 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 See? A stamp imprinted M A R K of the M A R K stamped on the forehead or right hand. Grain of rice that they use to get into the doors. Okay, like Amazon got them stores where you got to scan in with your hand to get in. There's videos about it. You can go look them up. I got a couple down there that I did down there. As the badge of the followers of the anti Amashiach. Amashiach means Christ in Paleo Hebrew. Okay, so basically, if you don't believe in the doctrine of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you're anti Amashiach. The mark branded upon horses 
thing carved sculpture graven work of idolatrous images that's why wait we'll go pull it up in a second it's in Edris. What? 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 Yep, yeah, it's in there. Hold on. So, so how you gonna purchase with sin? That's what they be talking about the mother camps. Man, they going off. That no man might buy or sell. And, a, and, and therefore, and that no man might buy or sell. See, it's a physical engravement. Okay? It's an incision. Save he that had the M A R K, or the name of the beast. What? What? What's the what's what's the beast? Native NATO, E U, in the U N, or the number of his name. What's the number? It's a barcode. See? There it is right there three little notches they want to put that in your body what? 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 yes they do they want to put it in your body so you got Jake out there like what 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 yes Jake they want to do this to you here's wisdom let him that have understanding count the number of NATO EU in the UN the beast for it's the number of a man and they talking about it's white women I don't know why. And his number is 603 score and 6. You got these other cats talking about his white women. That's how you know they paid off. Because this is plain, man. Okay? If you can't get none of the other breakdowns, this is plain, man. So, now we're going to look up. And that's why you want to stay in this truth. These people being idle, they don't wanna, they don't wanna serve you. How about Shim Havashai? They don't wanna try to go out to the highways and byways. They don't wanna try to do nothing for the Lord. They don't wanna try, you know. And talking about the men, because we're all supposed to be going out and doing that. Period. There ain't no old excuse, man. You have to do this. Yes, Jake. You have to do this. Second Edges, chapter sixteen, verse sixty-eight. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you and they hate Israel they do they have since the dawn of time it talked about uh, how they hated the uh, how the other trees the other branches they hated they envy the Adamites and I uh, and that's that's in uh, I believe it is in hold on hold on Jay talking about it okay it was in Ezekiel chapter 31 verse 6 and also in Genesis 49 22 talking about the bows Okay, and those bows is talking about people. Okay, but Ezekiel thirty-one six, it was talking about. Uh, here we're gonna we're gonna look it up after this. For behold, a burning wrath of great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away a certain of you, and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. Okay, that's talking about feeding you uh, to that that adulterous image that m-a-r-k that see him the karagma yes jake they're gonna do it they're gonna do it man so we're gonna keep going real quick but first we're gonna type in that that ezekiel 
type it in real quick and just make this real quick point. Because they think there's not three different types of trees. And I did a video on it. Yes, yep, I did a video on it. Something I learned from Pasta Tahar. But it said all the fowls of heaven were made as nests in his bows and his branches. See? And under his branches did all the beasts of the field bring forth their young, and under his shadow dwell all great nations. See, nations. They ain't talking about nations of dogs and cats. They're talking about nations of people. See? And then it said, thus was, uh, thus, uh, let me scoot it up just a little bit. Yep. Yep, great nations, thus, uh, was he fair in his greatness and the length of his branches for the root was by great waters the cedars in the garden of Yahweh could not hide him the fir trees were not like his bowls talking about Ham the Hamites and some of the other nations and the chestnut trees were not like his branches and talking about the Adamites they're not like the Adamites who later became the Shemites who then later became the Hebrew Israelites Yep, nor any tree in the garden of Yahweh was like unto him in his beauty. I have made him fair by the multitude of his branches, so all so that all the trees of Eden that were in the garden of Yahweh envied him. So you thought it was just some regular ass trees envying people? No. No. You thought it was some regular ass trees envy trees can't envy people. Why would trees envy people? They just make fruit. That's why that talks about you shall know them by them by their fruits. We're 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 there's reputate we're represented as trees too. And then there's trees that you can eat, and then there's a tree of knowledge of good and evil. It's three different trees. Yep. Yep, Jake. Yes it is. Okay. So now I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna look up a couple other things. Gonna have to do a part two, of course. Cause you know me, I'll get the babbling on. You know, get the talking and talking. Cause that's all I do. Let's talk about Yahweh by Shem Hawashai all day. China appoints U.S. sanctioned general as defense minister. So, uh, you know how it is when you put in these these young these young new guys in. They violent, man. It's finna go down. And, and a lot of them are coming together because the U.S. is sanctioning them. They tired of it, man. They tired of this. It's what they tired of. Because this is what America Babylon the Great has done to all the nations, man. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 6 Shall not all these take up a parable against him? Talking about Esau, you so-called white white, uh, white man and a, pro and a taunting proverb against him and say woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. How long? And to him that laded himself with thick clay. See what I'm saying? And when you go look up that word clay see what the clay says because it's talking about debt and let's look up proverb too yep yep we're looking it up we're looking it up Jake see proverb riddle hold on hold on Strong's age 2420. Chita. 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 Okay. Riddle. Difficult question. Parable. Uh, in uh, idiomatic saying or question. I'm going to look that up. Perplexing saying or question. See, we learned that same time. Just about, man. There's some of these words I still want to look. I still got to look up. This is how you do. You study. Difficult or difficult to interpret. 
or understand mysterious. Okay. What? What? Yep. Perplexing saying or question, riddle, dark, obscure utterance, dark sayings. In Great Millstone, the Lord has given these men these dark sayings. Ezekiel 31, 34, or 34, 31. His pasture, yes, his pasture is a flock of men. Riddle, enigma, to be guessed, perplexing questions, difficult, double dealing with having. What? 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 Yep. The Bible is a riddle. You can't read it like a novel. So, took that proverb against him, a taunting proverb against him, and say, Woe to him that increases that is, which is not his. See, everything belongs to Israel. That's why I said that the wicked's, uh, it said the wicked's uh, treasures are stored up for the righteous. And it says, then it says, how long will they do the thick clay? So now we're going to click on that thick clay. Strong's H, 5671, Avtit. See? Avtit. Weight of pledges, heavy debts. See? Pawn goods, thick clay, by a false uh, ethnonym, I think that's how you say that. Yup, that's what it says, Jake. So, that's what's going on. And this is what Esau Edom did. Verse 5, yea, also because he transgressed by wine, it's false doctrine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlarges his desire as hell, which is his slavery, bondage, and is as death why because they control the sword and cannot be satisfied but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people that's why when you look up the word babylon it means confusion he didn't heap all the people up together and then changed all the names of people out of the bible he didn't say they white we black they chinese and then confused everybody that's why babylon is called it confusion and the lord taking parable up against him yep that's what he saw over there. What? What the? What? He don't, he don't know. He don't, he can't believe we didn't found this truth. He did. They, they they terrified. Okay. So now here we go with another one. Uh, this uh Rahania campfire was planned sabotage. Okay, I did a video about this about a couple weeks ago. Left fifteen thousand refugees homeless, gutted some twenty eight hundred shelters. You know. Just like it says in just like it says in Romans 18 verse 18 verse 7. Yeah, 18 verse 7, you know, this would happen. You know, things will be brought to light. I think it's Proverbs 18 verse 7. Let me type it in just to be a hundred percent sure. Pretty sure it's Oh, no, no, it's Luke. Yep, Luke 18, 7. Yep, oh, wait, oh, well, we can do that. Luke 18, 7, and shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them. See, that's what we do, this is what, we do. This is what it looks like we're crying. We're crying out to Yahweh about Shem Shai to save us. Out of these abominations, Ezekiel 9, chapter 4. Lord willing, we part of that number. But let me let me go find this other scripture. It's uh hold on, Jake. Uh it's uh You know how they say all geniuses talk to themselves, right? Oh, look, Luke 18, 7, 8, 17. It's the other way around. So for nothing is hid. Let's let's look it up. Let's look up Luke uh, chapter 12 this time. 
the precept to it. The matching precept. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear in the closets shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. See? That's just, you know, Asian migrant crisis trying to force them to get into taking that sea hit. Goes all every all roads lead to the Karagma, man. So Saudi Arabia blocks Israelis from attending UN event. So uh, this is just you know just something I thought I'd pull up, see what it comes out to be later. We're not sure. I'm not sure. I didn't look too much into it, but uh, it's mainly just talking about they want to be the new leaders, you know. But it says uh, the UL, the the United Nations World Tourism Organization, had invited both the villagers and Israeli officials, along with these from 22 countries, in a two-day event in the Saudi village starting on Sunday. But the Israelis were never issued visas, according to people familiar with the matter. This despite uh, this is despite an appeal from the UN for equal treatment for member states and Saudis uh, suspending billions. Or spending billions to become a major player in the tourism industry. So see, that's all they trying to do. They still trying to make money off tourism. And they have no and, and, and people have no idea these tourists. They have no idea the the plagues that are to come. But you know, you saw even gonna try to come up with a way to make his bread, to try to keep his stuff going a little longer, or just to take it and run to the hills, run to his bunkers. Yep, he's going to run in there. But yeah, that, that's that. what that's talking about. Uh, we're going to keep going. Now we're going to do this. Israel says, Israel, massive crowds swarm Tel, Tel Aviv as over 200,000 people rally in the streets. It was a possibly its biggest public uprising ever and is over the proposed judicial reforms. Protests are over this issue are now in their 10th week, with over half a million Israelis protesting on the streets, chanting that Israel will not be a dictatorship. Now that amounts to 5% of the Israeli population, as per one report. In capital Tel Aviv alone, over 200,000 people have been protesting on the streets, waving the Israeli flag. The outrage against the government's judicial reforms comes after Prime Minister Netanyahu's plan to limit the Supreme Court's ability to pass judgments. Hold on. I, I got to go into a part two because this camera only lets me do 30 minutes at a time. Shalawam. We're going to be right back. Yep, we're going to be right back, Jake. Don't worry about it. We're going to be right back. <laughs> 